guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we've got a really fun one today bit of a like kind of house transformation room transformation video with me having had my fitted wardrobes done so i came to edit this video and realized i didn't actually introduce it so we kind of jump back into showing you a bit of like how the room looked before and um, the process of them getting fit a bit of a clear out organize rejig that kind of thing so i feel like it's one of those videos that you might have on in the background whilst you're maybe doing some organizing yourself or with your feet up nice coffee in hand thinking ah, rather you than me because that is what i'm doing today so yeah i hope you guys enjoy today's video if you want more like real-time updates like this kind of a thing that i was documenting over on my instagram then my homeware instagram is at freya farrington home so yeah i will love you and leave you enjoy the rest of this video and let me know what you guys think okay this is what if i actually close the door you can see full effect you get walking into my wardrobe room so this is obviously the before the fitted wardrobes from hammond's we just currently have a mirror in here chest of drawers an alcove there alcove there which has an ikea pax wardrobe in which very much looks like it sticks out like a saucer my original plan was always to have when i got this was to have this one here excuse my phone my original plan was to have the exact same wardrobe on both sides and um maybe shallower ones in the middle however they didn't measure up right that alcove is smaller than that one so a wardrobe like that didn't fit in that gap so all in all i was very much contemplating getting a fitted system so a bespoke fitted wardrobes and then I went to a couple of co different companies actually. Hammond's was the best in terms of I thought the kind of customer service, the whole experience of them coming and measuring up, talking through ideas. We discussed plans of what I wanted it to look like and what I wanted to achieve in terms of storage solutions and things and yeah so I was really really happy with the service that Hammond's provided and they then reached out to me just coincidentally at the same time saying would you like to work with us and I said yes amazing this actual video isn't part of the collaboration that I'm doing with them but of course I wanted to show you the whole before and after sorry I'm not facing it on me I probably should be but anyway I just wanted to give you an overview of um what my current wardrobe system is like this is empty I have emptied it you may have seen in a previous vlog I emptied out this room so we um, have carpet fitters coming to essentially pull back this carpet they're going to roll it all the way back here to be able to have the floor cleared for them to fit the wardrobe to the floor just for added like security and everything you can have them fit it to the carpet but I believe it's a better finish if you have them fit it to the floor. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also leaving a gap at the top. I think it's probably a similar height to this wardrobe so that you can see the coving that we had fitted. It would seem a bit of a shame to just kind of cover all that up. So I'm not going all the way to the ceiling. I'm actually, plus these are so high that I wouldn't be able to reach up there anyway. I can always put baskets on the top if I wanted to. But anyway, you'll see once they are fitted what I have gone for. I've gone for the Cliveden range, which is a very traditional, almost shaker style door. And I've gone wall to wall because the chimney breast is shallower. I'm going to have shelves along here so that I can use them for boots and bags. And then in each of the alcoves, I'm just going to have hanging space. This carpet as well, if you were interested, is from Cornwall Carpets. I'm thinking the mirror is probably going to have to move over onto this side, the panelled wall. My intention was to potentially see if my drawers will fit there because they do store quite a bit of beauty products, like PR bits and things that I need to try out. So I've got like face stuff in there. I actually could do with a bit of a clear out of here, but... Um, body bits that I want to try in there, hair care in here, and then just kind of like miscellaneous in there. And then it's more tech stuff for my filming um, that I keep in their camera equipment and everything. But yeah, this is the overview. I will update you guys after the carpet fitters have been. It is the next day and this is what the room is looking like. It literally took the carpet guys maybe five minutes. They very kindly of moved my wardrobe up to the chest drawers they moved as far as they could so that they could take back the carpet and the underlay the underlay is just kind of laid over here to try and protect 
what we can of the carpet but yeah hopefully that should be enough space for them to get out their equipment and fit those wardrobes to those walls so yes this is what we are looking like right it is end of day one are we ready for the grand reveal of what has been achieved by Hammonds today so oh this just makes me so happy let me just put the light on basically have the majority of it built if i'm honest with you he wasn't far off finishing today and i thought it was going to be like two to three days turns out he's going to be here in the morning to finish off but otherwise he's not far off being done which is perfect the side panels are on and the main as you can see like carcass itself the inner part is like a kind of oak finish with it having that natural wood look on the inside it's exactly what i wanted the um frame itself it, this is just in their standard white from the cliveden range so i'll show you once the doors are on you'll be able to see that color better what i've decided to do here which obviously he's already done as you can tell with the shelf is split it half and half so that i've got two rails and then these bits will be shelves and then these bits will be two rails but i'm going to measure up a dress of mine and then have a lower rail for like trousers folded over not far off being done so i will update you guys again in the morning okay wardrobe update is now midday on day two and we are finished it's gonna be kind of hard to see let me put the lights on there we go look the um handles that have come with this obviously you can switch out handles if you wanted to but these ones are like a pewter kind of antique looking finish so we're getting the carpets fit back to the wardrobe in a couple of days time so i'll be able to properly go through and show you the finished result with the carpet back there and as well as um like styling it and st start popping all the clothes and everything in let me just pop you down here and just open the wardrobes up so you can see what I've gone for on the insides. Ooh, so exciting, I can't wait to just have a place for everything rather than go from room to room, like tiptoeing. Because, you know, I quite like the hard floor in here. It's just a shame that it's in such poor condition. Because if you can see, it's just completely I wouldn't be able to use that as a flooring. Think how much rubbish would get down. Um, well, how much rubbish has got down. This is what they look like internally. Obviously, we've got the half and half there, but then longer dresses and trousers here. Shoes and bags in the middle. That's what it's looking like. I've made sure the highest shelf at the bottom was high enough to pop boots in. And then the rest of them are just evenly spread out. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. I will update you guys and be back here in a couple of days time once this carpet's been fit. Once this old one has gone and we can start organising my brand new wardrobe. So it is a new day. We have had the carpets fit back to the wardrobe. And honestly, I've never been more ready to get going with this organization because I feel like my other rooms, my spare bedroom and now my main bedroom as well, like half master. It's just a bit chaotic in there with clothes piled up, shoes, etc., etc. So I'm excited to get those rooms emptied, things into the wardrobes, have a bit of a clear out along the way. Um, but before I get going with that clear out, I am just gonna give the room a quick clean, basically hoover from all the little bits that come up when you get your carpet done. It's also a bit dusty in here from having the work, like the wardrobe's fitted. So I need to like dust this um, drawer unit as well. So this is the setup that I'm gonna go for. It'll allow me to basically just have the mirror for like, I need to move it a bit more central, but the mirror for like mirror selfie photos, outfits of the day in here. And also for me to just have a space to have a look like a full length mirror for outfits and stuff. And then this is kind of like what I like to call my PR um, drawer section. And then on top, I'm gonna to keep it here in this position to allow me to basically pile up boxes for like new in bits that I've maybe got for hauls like Zara, uh, Primark bags, that kind of thing. So that it's all kind of in this section. I did think about styling this up and ideally that would be nice, but if I'm being honest, practically speaking, I do tend to with this job get like an influx of products and things and I want to save them for maybe unboxing videos. So just to have this dedicated space for that will actually be really helpful for me. So 
for now anyway that's going to be the setup but yeah for now let's dust and hoover and then get going with the organization Right, with the room being all clean now, I just have a little DIY trick hack for any indents in your carpet, like so. You just pop a couple of ice cubes on where the little dent in the carpet is and just leave it. It kind of resets it a little bit. And just basically allows it to go back to its original shape. So I'll just leave that to do its thing. Whilst I crack on, I think I'm going to start with the shoes. By starting to move them into here, we will have a bit more space in the main bedroom. So, boots along the bottom. What I might actually do is see how I go with just using one for shoes. And then I could always potentially use another one for bags and baskets of accessories, clothes. Let me just keep all the shoes in one. I think I'll probably end up filtering into the second one, but let's see how we go anyway. Debrief, update on the progress. So I'm starting to bring in some clothes now and as I'm going, I'm deciding whether or not I wanna keep it, but because I had a clear out not too long ago, I feel like I will be keeping most things. I've started putting like occasion wear dresses in that longer section. We'll see how we go anyway. If I just kind of organize it how I had it before, then at least I know where everything is and I can kind of live with it, rejig, where necessary, so yeah, if I just keep putting the shirts in here as well. Um, then I had long cardigans in here as well. I basically just had the things that were long, but do I need them in there, or do they fit in here? Mm, they do fit in there. I might even get to a point where I roll up some knitwear just kind of stuck to the one side for now with boots at the bottom and then trainers pumps loafers and then heels at the top then i have some summery shoes which i thought would be ideal kept in a basket which i can pop in there but that basket is just a bit too deep for in here so i might just pick some shallower baskets for now pop it at the top somewhere because obviously it's summery shoes don't need them I've got this basket which I had in an old wardrobe which for now I'll just keep this system. It's basically just rolled up leggings. I also am thinking with knitwear to potentially roll it up and, and maybe stack it on a couple of these shelves. I know hanging knitwear can ruin the shape of it so that's why I'm thinking and it's quite bulky as well so we can you know, fill out these spaces with that. And little regret with these wardrobe choices, obviously you can tell as standard they say, it's about five shelves per wardrobe, which is what I've got. But because my intention for this was to be shoes, I think what I should have done is had these like taller ones like this, then this section here, but then from here above have maybe I could have had like an extra two shelves, I think. But for now, this is the progress we are making and I'm just gonna crack on, carry on, put the music back on and just keep going. Oh, hello. I hope he doesn't go for them ice because he likes to eat ice usually, don't you? 
He's just parading around the room. Just on, on patrol, are you? Oh, is that nice chin scratch? Is that nice? Oh, just before we get going, one other thing to note, I'll leave these linked. These are the best hangers ever, the velvet ones, because they're non-slip. They are so thin that they take up next to no space, so you can get lots of things on these. And obviously they've got the trouser rail too, and the little uh, strap grooves here. Honestly, best hangers ever. I only use these hangers. If I come across any that are different, I will be removing them and replacing them with these ones. What I'm just doing as well with any spare linen covers, I'm just popping them over the kind of colourful items. So aesthetically, when you open it, it's nice and neutral and pleasing to the eye. Misunderstood, said she would Help the ones that she could No glimpse of doubt It is getting a bit late on in the day now so I might call it a day here pick up this camera again tomorrow just to finish off and show you kind of a bit more of a finished result so it is the next day everything is I think organized at least for the first round we'll see how we go and how I live with it and if there's anything that I change along the way I will keep you guys posted but look can't believe it. So I've just basically opened all the doors to give you a bit of a quick run through and talk through of where I've put what. So of the four wardrobes, we'll start with the left hand side. I've just got at the top blazers and jackets, short jackets, and then along the bottom, my like everyday kind of hoodies, sweatshirts, joggers. And then in this one, we have pretty much, well, yeah, we do. We have all shoes in this one so far. And then over this side, we have starting at the top, my Katie Loxton weekender bag with some hats either side of it. Basically that bag just has all like my kind of dust bags and weekend shoulder bag type things, tote bags. Um, I have just left one out, my Adenola one, because I do tend to use a tote bag quite a lot. So I've left that one out for ease. I've got my caps there. Then this is my kind of designer shelf, I would say. These boxes are the boxes for the bags. They've got dust bags in as well, so I might pop those in a dust bag, but otherwise that is everything. Designer belts, bags, and that's kind of it. And then my leggings are all rolled up in here. We've got um, another belt, two belts here. So this is kind of like accessories, little linen containers. I think I got from Primark. This Ikea basket has all my kind of hats and cozy scarves in. And then the bottom three for now are knitwear. But again, seasonally, I'll be able to switch these out and be able to maybe make a little room in this section and pop some like basic tees and stuff here instead. And then on the right hand side, we have the top section being all my basic tees, a um, couple of like knit vests, shirts, dresses, occasion wear and long coats. And then this is where I've just popped this basket for now because I've got all of that kind of space there. I thought that just slots in quite nicely, which is um, a basket full of like summery shoes. A couple of other hats there as well, which I might again move at some point, but for now they're fine there. And then the bottom section is vests, bodies, kind of crop tops, and then into jeans, leather trousers, smarter trousers, and skirts. And that completes my new wardrobe room tour. But yeah, I'm thinking about definitely getting a couple of little other accessories, bits to dress the room with. Something here maybe, either a chair, table, maybe both. A chair would be helpful for doing like sat down videos, I feel, but 
I do also think stood up here doing Instagram styling reels and things, a little table with like a coffee table book, a plant on or something would be quite nice there. But otherwise, this is, for now anyway, the finished wardrobe. So there we have it. I'm going to conclude today's vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this bit of a room transformation. I'm so obsessed with coming in here now. If you're like getting ready here, I'm going to do in front of the mirror. I am so obsessed with how it is looking and just so, so happy. So thank you first and foremost to Hammonds for working with me on this partnership. This video isn't sponsored, but like I said, I am working with them over on Instagram. So uh, be sure to check out my Instagram homeware account, Fro Frankton Home, for more kind of wardrobe updates, transformation type videos and content. And yeah, thanks to Hammonds. Thanks to you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you have. Subscribe for more. And I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.